write a press release in regards to the incident of Egyptian military crew members who did not strictly observe the time measures. A 43-year-old Egyptian soldier who arrived in Thailand last Wednesday, the 8th of July, and left again on Friday, 10th of July for China, was swab tested on Saturday, 11th July, revealing a positive test result on Sunday for the COVID-19 virus. This incident has triggered panic among the top Thai officials who immediately announced an investigation team was being sent to Rayong province to track the soldiers to stay. On 4th of July 2020, at 2.30 p.m., Mr. Dusit Manapan, Director General of the Department of South Asian, Middle East and African Affairs, summoned Her Excellency Mrs. Leila Ahmed Bahaldin, Ambassador of the Arab Republic of Egypt to Thailand, to discuss the incident of Egyptian military crew members who did not strictly observe Thailand's measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand. Alma, at the outset, the Director General informed the Ambassador of the decision of the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration, or CCSA, to deny flight clearance request for the upcoming four Egyptian military flights on 17th and 25th of July 2020, as the Thai public has expressed grave concerns about this incident. He added that at this time, the Thai side has not yet decided when such requests from the Embassy of Egypt can be considered again in the future. He also asked the Embassy to ensure that all Egyptian officials on missions in Thailand strictly comply with regulations and measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 set forth by the Royal Thai government to avoid any recur recurrence of complications. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs noted the Egyptian side's apology for the incident via a telephone call on 13th of July 2020. However, he suggested that it would be more appropriate if the embassy would express the said gesture and reassurance directly to the Thai public or people. The Egyptian ambassador sincerely apologized for the incident and reaffirmed the Egyptian side's commitment to ensuring that such incident will not be repeated. She added that there had been frequent routine military flights of this kind in the past, during which there was not an incident. Furthermore, all crew members on the said flight had tested negative for COVID-19 before embarkation, though one of the crew members later tested positive for COVID-19. In addition, crew members, including the one that tested positive, were found to not have adhered to the Thai regulations, although the Embassy of Egypt had previously reassured the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and relevant Thai authorities that the crew members would comply with the Thai measures. The Egyptian ambassador informed that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Egypt has been following this case with serious concern. She then transmitted a statement expressing regrets for the incident to the Director General. The statement has also been posted on Embassy's Facebook page. Lastly, the ambassador informed that the Embassy of Egypt has coordinated with the Ministry of Public of Health of Thailand to offer its full cooperation in the disease investigation, particularly contact tracing. Back to you, Alma. All right. Thank you, Gila, for your updates there in Bangkok. Thank you very much. Thank you. Once again, this is Gila Pablo reporting live from Bangkok, Thailand. We live in interesting times.